In this video, I'm going to show you how I change the oil in a 2020 Ram 3500 6.7 liter diesel. We're going to start out by removing the oil fill cap right here. And I'll just set that off for now. And then we're going to slide underneath the truck. I've got my oil pan underneath and this is the oil drain plug we're looking for. To remove that oil drain plug, all you need is a 3 8 inch ratchet. I'm gonna use an extension. Got my oil pan in place and a little piece of cardboard underneath that to catch any oil that may splash. And the engine has been warmed up. So all the oil should flow out very nicely. Let the oil drain for a while until it slows down to about a trickle and then I can put my drain plug back in. I want to start it by hand so that I don't cross thread the drain plug and I'll clean the area up just a little bit make sure I get all the oil off the bottom and then I'll use my torque wrench set to 40 foot-pounds of torque until it clicks and there we go we're set at 40 foot-pounds of torque now I need to change the oil filter and that's located behind the right front wheel right here the gray one is what I'll be replacing let's take a look underneath you can see that there's a little drain hole located right here. So if any oil does happen to spill, it will come out there. But there really is no other way that's easy to access the oil filter. So I'll be going from the right wheel, put my strap wrench or oil filter wrench in and loosen the oil filter. So I'll be loosening it towards the back of the truck. Once I get it loose enough with the strap wrench or oil filter wrench, I can loosen it the rest of the way by hand. And I'm gonna set the oil filter down in the little pocket where the hole was and I want to make sure it's facing straight up because I need to get a gallon size Ziploc bag and what I'm going to do is stick that in around the oil filter and then I'll reach in and grab hold of the oil filter and lift it up and set it inside my gallon Ziploc bag. Now there is a way to get the oil filter off, but you need to remove a lot of stuff on the top of the engine. I found this to be the easiest way. Just put it in the Ziploc bag, keep the top of the Ziploc bag a little bit higher than the rest of the oil filter and the oil that will spill out into your bag and make sure you don't rip the Ziploc bag as it comes out. And gently pull out the bag and there it is with no oil spilled. So I have my oil and oil filter. I'm going to be using a 5W40 synthetic as recommended. I'm gonna take my filter and put a little clean oil around the O-ring gasket. And then before I put the oil filter in, I wanna clean off the oil filter area, make sure the old gasket's gone and that it's clean. Then I can slide my new oil filter in and down. Once it goes in and down, then I can line it up with the threads and screw it in till it's hand tight. And there we have the oil filter installed. I can begin filling the oil, this engine for this year recommends 12 
quarts of oil. So I have three gallon jugs here. I'm gonna stop at 11 quarts because there may be some residual oil and then I'll check it and see where my level is. So that's 11 quarts. Pull the dipstick out and make sure there's oil up to the point of the dipstick. So I'll push it back in and pull it out and it looks like there is oil on the dipstick. So I'm good to start my engine up. Put the oil fill cap back on. And I wanna start the engine just to get the oil flowing around, fill in the oil filter, then I'll turn it off and check it again. Now remember, I only put in 11 quarts. So I'm gonna check it now, see where it is once I've run it for about 30 seconds or so. And it looks like it is about a quart low. So I'm gonna to need to add that one extra quart. So it ends up being exactly 12 quarts of oil, which is perfect. It's just a lot easier to add an extra quart versus trying to remove one if in fact you had too much in there. So now I can check my oil level once again. And it looks like it's right in the perfect level. So I'll put my dipstick back in and put my oil cap back on. And that just leaves me to go in and reset the dashboard. So you have to have the vehicle in the run position. Go through the menu system to where the oil life is. And I changed this one real early. It said I had 74% life left, but I went ahead and changed it anyway and reset that to 100% and we're good to go. So that's how you change the oil in a 2020 Ram 3500 6.7 liter diesel. I am How To Bob. Thanks for watching.